people will wonder why we need a union at Starbucks, and I am literally about to quit. Like, I, I don't know if I'm going to do it, but, like, I really want to. I almost walked out today, and I'm crying in the back room right now, and I almost cut on the floor. It's just... I, like, I get, I'm, I'm like a full-time student. I get scheduled for 25 hours a week, and on a weekend, they schedule me the entire day open to close. That one's scheduled for eight and a half hours, both Saturday and Sunday. I'm like, bro, <laughs> Bro, that's not shit, dude. That's a regular fucking shift. Yo, look. You know what? Now that we're watching this video, I gotta talk shit about this. There's a friend that I personally know where they did this same shit. Like, there's a lot of new people in this generation. I don't know what it is with Gen Z, but if they work more than, like, five hours, then they instantly just start saying a bunch of shit like, oh, I can't do it. It's too hard. Oh, it's too many hours. And, and you, because you guys have been noticing that there's a lot of locations that you would go to and they're just understaffed. A lot of people just don't want to work. You said, uh, meanwhile, people in school in other countries get paid pennies. You said, bro, bro didn't go to school? He works in school, but he, this man is saying that he works from opening and closing, and then he's mentioning eight hours. Bro, eight hours is a regular shift. Eight hours is a shift, dude. And he says he only works 21 hours a week. So eight, 16, 24, what, what is that, like three days, really, that he's working? So I, I don't even know what the fuck he's really bitching about. Like, that's just that's just regular work. Yo, four people's not even that bad. One person on register, one person in the back, two people making drinks. That's not even that bad, to be honest. There's possibly scheduled five people. <laughs> Facts, you better get your ass back to work. Four of y'all niggas. <laughs> Just making this video. It's only three of y'all niggas, man. They lucky for you in the back. Like, where this nigga go? True. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, when I was working, I'd be pissed if a nigga was in the back. True. Just chilling when I'm fucking slaving out there, boy. <laughs> I'd be pissed. Man, I'd be pissed if I went on my social media and I saw you uploading that shit while you crying in the back. Nigga, I'm crying on the floor right now, nigga, working. Just get work. your ass Look, here's here. one thing. Here's one thing I could say, though. I used to work in Dunkin' Donuts. So I know what he's going through. Especially, especially if you're working morning shift, that shit's no joke. Working in either Starbucks, any coffee shops, Dunkin' Donuts, any of that fast food morning shift shit, no joke, dude. When I tell you people walk in and they need their orders and they need to be like this. Walk in. Oh, how can I help you today? Oh, I want a medium hot latte with this, that, and the third, and this. You got to be quick. Because if you're slow in the morning times, they're going to get on your ass. Just quit, man. Eight hours, though? Just quit. Eight hours? Just quit. <laughs> well, I know you're not complaining about an eight-hour shift, nigga. I know you're not complaining about no But it's fast shift, food. Man. Yes, that's true. It, it, it's fast food. But you got to take into consideration, it's way different in the morning. Like, it's fast, fast food. It's like times two because everybody's trying to get to work. So the second somebody makes an order, you really got to be on that shit because, because if a person is there waiting for their order and it's more than like two, three minutes, they're going to start bitching. And you got to be really, really fast. Yeah, like customers are assholes. Like, they will legit like try to hop over the counter and be like... Where's my order? I gotta get to work. I gotta take the train. You gotta be real fast in the morning, man. It's no joke. He said he need unions because he got an eight hour shift. Nigga, if you put a union at your Starbucks job, you might leave <laughs> negative, nigga. Yeah, fact. <laughs> Man, of fees they taking a check, check, nigga. Uh, he's having a breakdown. I feel. <laughs> I'm, I empathize with a little breakdown here. Why? Just, just Why? Quit. Just quit. Get another job, bro. Doing what? I don't know. Work at Build a Bear or something a little bit more calm. <laughs> I guess. Build a Bear. No, that's true. That that's another thing I would say. If you feel like the job is not for you, my honest thing that I guess I would say is go job hunting, right? Stay in the job. Don't just leave cold turkey. Find another job. Go to an interview, see what happens. If you get hired in the other job, then you can leave where you're currently at. You say, I just think a lot of these people don't know how to work through their issues. I agree with that. 
Cause, cause like I was saying, I feel like how everyone is brought up now is like, dude, look, I had a friend on Instagram. When I tell you this girl posted an Instagram story where she when and, and this is how her Instagram story, long story short, was like, this girl said, yo, today was my first day at work. I quit because I couldn't handle the amount of customers that were walking up to me and talking to me. I had anxiety. Then she then posts another Instagram story after that. And she's like, oh, how come the government doesn't pay people who have anxiety attacks in in like in like stores? Long story short, she was kind of like, yo, I want to get paid for doing nothing. I was like, bro, I was like, yo, I was about to comment on her shit. Like, yo, what? You said social anxiety goes crazy. It does. But then it's like at the same time, I feel like she's capping because I used to work with her in a previous store and she was fine. So so when she posted that story and she was like, yo, on her first day of the job after she got hired, she literally quit on the same day uh, at the first day she got hired. You said, bro, I got anxiety and I still work at a retail store. Like, uh, like my need to survive outweighs my anxiety. Exactly. You said, that's actually Gen Z issues as a whole. Gen Z can't look at people in the face for a whole conversation. True. Look at my face, chat. I'm looking right at y'all. How y'all doing? Wake up. Wake up. I'm looking right at you, man. I, I saw half y'all in the chat. Y'all were looking down, bro. Y'all gotta, gotta look, y'all gotta make eye contact with me, bro. I saw half y'all looking down. You said, damn, if you're looking at me with those eyes, I may feel different. Hey, man, you better, you better chill. Hey, that's just, that's just but yeah, long story short, she made a post saying, hey, the government needs to pay people who can't work that have social anxiety. And when I saw that shit, my face was like, I was like, so you telling me you want to get paid for sitting in for sitting your ass at home and not doing anything and you want to bring up the excuse of i have social anxiety so i should be getting paid to not do anything because i have this condition i'm like shut the fuck up grow a pair of balls i know she's a girl put on your big girl panties bro and just do what the fuck you got to do because in life Yes, you're going to be put in positions that, that you don't want to do things. But guess what? You have to do it anyway. Just go do what the fuck you got to do, man. You said people will pretend that they have social anxiety. And you know what? I feel like she does that. I feel like she does that. I feel like she fakes that she has social anxiety. Because like I said, I worked with her at a previous job. And every time I worked with her, she was fine. So that's why in my head, I'm like, wait, when did you get this social anxiety thing? Like, like you were fine with me last year when we were working like, like, and, and mind you, when I worked with her, we worked through Black Friday. We worked through um back to school. We worked through so much stuff and I never saw any issues with her. So then now in my head, I'm like, mm, are you telling the truth or are you lying? Do you just want to get a free paycheck or, mm, you know? You said if she doesn't want to work, then make an OnlyFans. I mean, she is kind of pretty. I mean, I guess she can make an OnlyFans if she wants to. She's not ugly, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. You said, uh, bro, I'm an introvert and I can't talk to strangers in real life, but I want a job. The only problem is that there are no jobs here. Nah, Lily. I mean, if there's um any retail jobs around that location, just... Try looking online because you know, what's crazy. A lot of people always say that a lot of people always say that there are no jobs there or there are no jobs in my area. And I'm like, have you looked online? Like, have you legitimately looked online and like went to the website, go to the careers portion, put in your zip code and look. And a lot of people be like, and I'm like, so how do you know if there's jobs or not? You got to go to the website, go to the bottom where it says careers. Then they're going to ask you for your zip code. Put in the zip code and then you're going to see in the whole shit like what locations near you have like open spots. And then from there, you can like shoot interviews, shit like, I mean, shoot resumes and then, you know, do what you got to do. You said there's a lot of jobs online. It's just not jobs you want. Mm. 
Mm. True. It's how those jobs work. I understand. It's, they it's understand. High. People treat you like shit because they don't respect you. The customers fucking suck. And nigga, you always have to keep hustling because the new niggas will pop up in the drive through in two seconds. Yup. Get the work, nigga. Hey, man, it builds character, though. I will say that. Yes, it does. Like that it does. It does. It does. Look. Look, 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 that's the positive of working those types of jobs. It definitely does build character. And it's good. It's good. Ever since, like, yo, I'm kind of glad my first job was fast food. Because now when I deal with people, I don't, I don't take bullshit. And then when I did a lot of retail jobs, bro, I don't let no customer step over me. If you walk in and you disrespect me, I'd be like, sir, you can leave. I'm not going to help you. Oh, call your manager. Bitch, I'm the manager. Suck my dick. I'll get fired right now and I'll beat the fuck out you. Like, yo, I'm that type of person. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, if you disrespect me, I will lose my job and fuck you up in the, in the fucking facility. Like, get the fuck out of here. People get really cocky nowadays and they feel very... Like, like there's this thing that's happening right now where, where I feel like it's always been happening where people would just go to people who work in retail and fast food and they will just automatically act like they're superior than you. And I don't like that shit. I'm like, nah, nah, I don't give a fuck where you work. Anywhere you work at, you got to respect people. And then that's another thing. Why would you disrespect somebody that works in fast food and I'm making your food? Like imagine me, I, bro, if I work at a McDonald's and you disrespect me and then you're like, yo, I want a Big Mac. You're going to get some of that special sauce. <laughs> All over that fucking sandwich And I'ma mix that shit in with the mayonnaise And give that shit to you Eat that shit, bitch You must be out your mind If you're gonna disrespect people in fast food They're messing with your food They could put a roach in your shit if they want to Come on, dog. Yo, you gotta be respectful to people in fast food, man Be respectful funnier after Walmart, man <laughs> Driving home after you said after I'm after rubbing my balls on the buns. Of, um, you gotta respect and, and people in fast food as it, much no. as you don't want to. You have to because they're right. preparing your food. Any, any, anywhere else you go, it's gonna be the same thing. The same thing. But it might be a different type of hustle though. Like if it's not Starbucks, shit, it might be like uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Maybe that's a little bit easier. But he's still gonna nah. Dunkin' Donuts is the same shit. It's the same shit. It might be Smoothie King. Nigga, it might be easier to make oh, smoothies man, no, than. Jesus. Have you been at Smoothie King peak hours? Oh my God, that nigga will crumble, nigga. Oh my goodness gracious. And I'm gonna tell you right now, when I go to Smoothie King and a nigga fuck up my order, I, I will, and I will be in that motherfucker ready to complain, boy. You gonna have to remake my smoothie. You fuck that shit up, boy. I yep. work at a grocery store. Oh my goodness, no. No, no, no like stalking the aisles and some. Oh stuff. no, absolutely. Okay. Not. Hey, what can you do, bro? Nothing, nigga. I'm being be honest. Yo, Starbucks is oh, at the Chick bottom. Oh, Chick-fil-A peak hours is crazy. <laughs> don't you dare. I'm so Don't you dare in your life try to uh, uh, apply to Walmart. Now, get a desk don't job, you. nigga. Do some, like, do some entry, some data entry. We only have 13 people employed at this store. And there's so many people. Only 13 people. We don't have fair scheduling. Managers don't care about us. Our manager was supposed to come in this weekend, and he took himself off the schedule, so he wouldn't be able to be held accountable for calling out. He just literally tore down the schedule that he was scheduled on and put up a new schedule where he wasn't on the schedule. Also, he couldn't have even seen that he was scheduled in the first place because he didn't want to be held accountable for not one. Nah, managers dead ass do that. She they should work dead at the ass do that. Fast food restaurant, Waffle House. Capicola. Waffle House, bro. The only thing I could tell this guy right here that's crying in the Starbucks video is. In my honest opinion, if fast food is not your thing, just go to retail, bro. Work in the mall. Work at Best Buy is dope. I like working at Best Buy. Try working at Best Buy. Um, try working at, like, I don't know, man, Burlington Coat Factory. You say he's probably going to cry in retail, bro. If he cries in retail, then there's nothing we can do for him. Because at this point, he going to cry everywhere. And then he just going to be a broke ass motherfucker. I think to come in. Quit. They don't want to help us. 
we need a union because this can't happen. This can't happen. We need fair scheduling. We need <laughs> quit. What? Yo, you see, look, 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 look. Fair scheduling, bro. You're working a minimum job. You're working a minimum job. You're not gonna get those benefits, especially if you just started. Like you, you, you see, like what he's asking for. Oh, we need f um fair scheduling. With fair scheduling, he probably talking about yo. He want weekends off, bro. Bro, if you got no job experience, they're not giving you weekends off, bro. They're not gonna give you weekends off. Kick rocks. This is not a career, nigga. You're working at Starbucks. Exactly. It's not a career. It's a fucking. It's a regular job. It's not a career. So for him to be asking for all this extra shit, bro, welcome to the real world. Quit, quit. Why are you dog? talking about unions? Quit, man. Also, like I hate, I hate when people, cause you know now as I grow and I like get a different perspective of like how things work, especially like managing people right now. Always like when people say shit like that, he clearly doesn't know the full schedule, like the full scope of things. Like the manager probably took himself off the schedule now, so he can probably work another like another um time of the week. Cause the nigga still has to put in hours himself. So he still has to make money as well. What's what's funny is people like like him think that he's the only level that's getting fucked. No, the manager above you is also getting fucked. Oh, that definitely. Manager above definitely, definitely, definitely. Managers also get fucked because even though they get extra money, they still have to be the person to, I think, what, count the money. They also have to make sure that people who are scheduled to go into their shifts come in. And then when people call out, bro, I would never want to be a manager in fast food or retail. Because the last thing I want to do is just start calling people up when somebody calls out. Oh, Oddity called out? Shit, now I'm going to have to call um Lily on her day off. Hey, Lily, can you come in today? Um, I just woke up. Lily, but Oddity didn't come in today, so can you come in? <laughs> See, look, I can't do that. And then you gotta be mad nice about it and shit. And then you know Lily's probably on the phone like, mm, no, I'm not gonna come in. Um, why can't you come in, Lily? And then Lily's like, it's my day off. And then you're like, fuck. It's like, what do you say after that? That's stressful as hell. It is. It is. And I remember when I used to work retail, bro, when it was my day off, I'm going to tell you guys in the chat, unless you want hours, unless you want hours and you want money, if it's your day off, you are not obligated to go in. Okay? I'm letting you guys know right now because it's going to happen. They're going to do that and they're going to guilt trip you. And then they're going to be like, oh, why aren't you coming in? Bitch, it's my day off. You can suck my dick. Get the fuck out of here with that shit trying to intimidate me. Oh, why aren't you picking off the phone when it's your day off? It's my day off! Why do I got to pick up the phone? Yo, I used to specifically have on my phone the company's number. And the second I saw them calling me, I'm like, oh, hell. Ooh. Nope, I ain't picking that shit up. And every time I used to go into work, they used to be like, why don't you pick up on your days off? It's my fucking day off. I'm not picking up. It's weird. They want you to, um, you already know. Like, they, they, they want you to be like their slave. And it's weird. I'm not picking up you is only getting paid three four dollars more than what you're getting paid a lot of times it still has way more responsibility yes way more responsibility and especially if they're salaried nigga they can work overtime and a lot of times they don't get paid or compensated for that nigga the only people who aren't getting fucked are like nigga the pe person who's owning the building or people who own starbucks but everybody else is getting fucking you you think that it's just you bro don't don't nah, it's everybody else manager, too but now nah, he getting screwed over as well it managers to hold themselves accountable for helping their workers they refuse to turn mobile orders off we need the liberty to be able to do that because there's so many mobile orders and i need to get through all of them and then people are yelling at me because i don't have their orders ready because they don't know what to do <laughs> and a customer was oh my god this guy is soft man this guy is soft man bro bro man you you a little bitch this man legit crying in the camera. Come on, dog. He wants... <sighs> this is the problem with this generation, man. It, 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 there's too many weaklings, bro. You gotta grow a pair. Gender me tonight, like, really badly. I didn't have their order ready. And so they were just, like, totally talking to each other. And they're like, she's clearly incompetent. I have a full mustache and beard. This shit bringing <laughs> back memories of my first job. Wendy's. Busiest one in the district.
closing shift always staying an hour later than you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. I knew four people who worked in that store that smoked, sometimes in the store, two of them were managers. I remember the last day for one of the managers, all of us went to his neighborhood and he brought a whole bong and a pack of Bud Light. Good times, but dear God, never again. Yeah, never again. It's, it's... Look, fast food, in my opinion, is kind of like a one-time experience. If you're ever, ever, ever gonna, like, you know, do that type of shit, um, I feel like you should do it one time, maybe for a couple months. Then after that, it's like, never do it again, because fast food is really a one-time thing. This dude got a punchable face on God. This the type of dude that'll get pushed into a locker in a Disney movie. What? Like That's Dambra, so specific. I can't even call him a man. He said this the dude that get pushed into a locker in a Disney movie. Like, damn, bro. <sighs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't get accommodations for being neurodivergent. I don't... <laughs> like, I can't use... Like, I... people get mad at me for using my sick time. I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm like at my wits end with this job. I really am. I think it's hilarious that he's like, people are getting mad at me for too much sick time. <laughs> yeah. My manager just took himself off the schedule. Yeah. I don't like that. And right now I'm mid mid shift recording myself crying in the back. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> Making coffee, nigga. Shut up, bro. Shut the fuck up. It's a lot up, of coffee nigga. though. <laughs> it's a coffee. lot of coffee though. <laughs> Shopping carts. He can put shopping. No, you back. know why? The nigga I thought I that worked with, mm -hmm. we thought the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. He was so incompetent. You know he did two things. A, he was pushing the shopping carts. You know uh, the shopping cart thing on the outside of the building, how it's like like the hole that they, you actually push them through is like 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 this level. Mm -hmm. So the carts like go in, right? This nigga was pushing it down like this and like didn't look up and walked straight into the wall. He was out for I think two or three days. Then they came back, tried to let him do it again, and you know what he did? Nigga hit two cars with shopping carts. <laughs> Just he, quit, bro. bro. Bro, come on, bro. Just he tell can't. Him to quit. No, don't quit, bro. Tell him to quit. He no, stop, bro. He needs character development, and nigga. He's done. He he's does. What career is gonna if he can't do this? What career is he but gonna that's be? The that's the thing. If if he can't even do a fucking retail job or he can't do fast food, look, here's my thing. If you're doing fast food, it's most likely because you have zero job experience. Let's keep it a stack. That's the only reason why you would even be doing fast food. You have no job experience. What else can you do? There's really nothing else you can do. You can maybe work remotely from home. You could try to do that if you have a good computer and you have good internet. Try to work remotely from home. Try to be a customer service representative. I don't know. But... I will turn into a convertible. I will turn into a convertible. Hey guys all complain that men can never show their emotions because of society, and then look at all of you, dissing an inexperienced man because he is overwhelmed. Nah, Seems there's a like difference. men are the reasons we cannot talk about our emotions. You are actually mean. Nah, 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 there's a difference, there's a difference. Like, the, the thing with him is that he, he seems like he wants the job to compensate him because he's overwhelmed or whatever and it's like because this has really nothing to do with mental health this is mostly like a thing of of oh i'm overworked but are you really though and then it's like bro you, look at the end of the day in life work is work work is work bro when you go to work you gotta go to work it's like what so 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 Kless gaming. So 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 what would you do in this situation, Kless? Kless, if you were his manager, what would you tell him? Take the day off, man. Go home. I got you. You know what? You could take the day off with pay. Are you gonna say that? Or are you or Kless, as a manager, you're gonna look at him and be like, bro, get your ass back on that floor until your shift is over. Dude thinks he's being overworked. Try working at Amazon during the holiday peak season. I would just try to take over the country. 
I remember working 40 hours when I was 16 and everyone at my school was bitching about long shifts, even though they don't work more than four hours a day. Oof, damn, you're doing 40 hours? You are a beast. He needs to fail now. He's he not making it regardless. Yes, he is. But then the thing is, too, is that he has to go through this now because... Because here's the thing. It's only going to get harder in life. Because if he doesn't go through this now and, like, man up now, you think when he when he gets older, like, people are going to just still be like, oh, it's okay. You don't want to work. You know what? You could go home. No, the older you get, it just gets tougher for us. So you have to grow the fuck up and just do what you got to do. You said, of course, as a manager, my job will be to get his ass back to work. But I guess... I could help him in a nice way. You could, but then it's like, he just got to do what he got to do. And then, hey. If, if he fails now, he'll be able to save himself later on, man. Yeah. You if think he don't get the hard work in now, imagine when he gets an actual career. Mm -hmm. and he's not going to be able to deal he's with the politics and all that. Bro, I'm trying to save this nigga, bro. He's not getting one. Yes, he can, Car bro. salesman, he's getting outworked. That's oh my commission. God, no. Jesus. Like, office job, it may be too monotonous. He's going to be depressed. Like... He can't make it, bro. Starbucks is like, he but can't make it. But I know, but him, him crying now gets him ready for tomorrow. Cry yes. today, laugh tomorrow. All right, Drake. <laughs> He's talking about shit that happens at every job, too. Bro. Yeah. Like, come on, you crying about shit that happens. At, bro, when I was working at Walmart, I was surprised when a nigga didn't call out. I Yo, true. True. Look, when I used to work, when I used to work at Vans, bro, there used to be this one motherfucker that used to call out every day, bro. Every day this guy called out. And that shit used to get me pissed. And then I used to be like, why is nobody firing him? Why is he still working here if he calls out every shift? Probably his first job. The guy in the video, most likely. There's a high probability that that's his first job. I was like, oh, did everybody show up today? They had a schedule at the, <laughs> online ago. I'm like, oh, damn, everybody here. Like, oh, shit. All right, cool, cool. They just called out every day. Turnover rate was out the ass, and everybody working at bare minimum six-hour shifts. Bare minimum. Yeah, he man, can't, you wait, can't he get workers' compensation on, if they, they fire him? That's it. crazy. That's why companies don't fire people, because because then you could um request, what, unemployment? That's nutty. So that's why so that's why the job kept him. Even though he called out every fucking day, they kept him because they didn't want to fire him and give him workers comp or um unemployment. You say, "Yo, I swear Retro brings up a new job he worked at every stream." Nah, that's one of the retail jobs I worked at. I just never really named it. A job so long and think about unions. Yeah, you thinking because you're not even gonna be there long enough to really. There's a benefit. difference between like, not feeling like you can't be emotional you to significant others and close friends and family, and then crying to social media that you can't handle a minimum wage job that you could leave at any time. There are niggas who would love to have this guy's job. Next time he could just apply for a on-campus job since he's a full-time student and get that extra work-study scholarship. True. That's actually smart if he does do that. That's actually good if he does do that. Not bad. But there's no speaking, benefit. No, I'm saying, but that isn't speaking the benefits that he thinks he's talking about. Thank you for the, the bits, time, guys. Everything is structured. <laughs> you're not even going to be there long enough to, to read the benefits. So you yeah. trying to union, unionize a Starbucks? You sound crazy, nigga. <laughs> Let <laughs> us know when you hustled way too hard. You broke down crying in the back, man. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Drop a like on this and click that join button, man. We got videos just like this. Click. I'm not even going to lie. Like now that I think back at me working at Dunkin Donuts, I think that was the first job that almost made me cry. But when I tell you the bullshit that they had me doing in that Dunkin Donuts, especially back in that time, bro, I was getting paid $7.25 an hour. $7.25 an hour working at that fucking Dunkin Donuts. Then, you know what they did to me in that Dunkin' Donuts in the six-month time span that I was there? They ended up making me clean up the Dunkin' Donuts with an increased pay. You know what that increased pay was? 75 cents. So instead of 725, 
$8 an hour. Wow. This man had me doing, I had to clean the, the garbage area. When I told you I saw bugs in there that I've never seen before on some Hollow Knight shit. Then this man made me clean out the grease trap with a Dunkin' Donuts cup. I had to scoop all the grease from the grease trap and pour that shit out into the garbage. When I tell you that grease trap was the, was the, yo, it was the most disgusting thing that I ever had to clean in my life. Think of just a, think of just a layer of like doo-doo water. And then on top was just like a crusty layer of just grease. And on top of that layer, y'all could already guess what was on top of that layer. Guess what was on top of the layer of the grease? <laughs> Maggots. Maggots. And with a Dunkin' Donuts cup, Looking at the maggots, looking at the doo-doo water with gloves on. I had to scoop the shit out, the fucking grease trap, throw it in the garbage. Bro. Bro, that job, when I tell you, that was that was my first job. And, and I could kind of relate to what this guy was doing. But then, you know, him crying to social media, I'm like, bro. Bro, you, he didn't, he's not even going through the bullshit that I went through. And I'm like, bro. I had to suck it up and just do what the fuck I had to do. It's no joke. It's no joke, bro. It's no joke. Companies abusing their workers and paying illegal wages, bro. I mean, but that was way back in the day, dude. So so, so the pay that I was getting at that time was the pay that they were giving. Alerts, bits, muted. No, 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 they're there. One thing we can actually take away from this is that minimum wage jobs should give longer breaks. Because you're basically Yo, standing the breaks that they used to, to give me at Dunkin' Donuts was 10 minutes. minutes break. They used to give me 10 minute breaks, bro. And they did the same thing to me in vans. Bro, isn't that technically illegal? In vans, they did the same thing to me. They were like, yo, the break is 10 minutes. I'm like, 10 minutes? Isn't it supposed to be 15? Bro, they reduced the breaks to 10 minutes. That's illegal. But it is what it is.